My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, I've arrived in Morthal to meet the Initiates. I couldn't help but have a light snack, though, before we begin. <laughs> All right, I hope I can find them. Sir, can I help you? You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. And you're asking for trouble talking back to me. In fact... Oh! You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. All right, well, you survived your trouble. I'll let you live for now. Ah, oh, wait, I see some tails. It's them, it's the Khajiit twins. And here we are. Does anyone want to speak first? How about you? I was beginning to lose hope that you would ever come. Really? Hope? is a strange thing to keep for the Brotherhood. Maybe so, but you came anyway. It's my husband, Camus. He's kidnapped my children. Kidnapped? Please. They must be so scared. Why don't you start from the beginning? Well, my husband has always wanted to go back and live in Hammerfell. He used to he used to be an Alkir warrior. Really? When we got married, I convinced him to come with me to Skyrim, away from both of our homes. However, he is convinced that with the civil war going on and the assassination of the Emperor, Skyrim is no longer a safe place. You <laughs> My have parents to felt him. the same way. Since the Great War, he is... he is no longer the man I married. Hmm. So then... We are to kill your husband? No. Goodness, what? no. I what do you mean, no? I need my children and kill the men guarding them. Rescue? Convince my husband to come home. But if you can't, I'm afraid that he will try again. So, only kill him if you have to. Ah, <laughs> oh, you mortals are so amusing. Very well, it will be done. All right, we need to track Camus. Majira, you look very nice in that tight outfit. Some people, it actually flatters. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can find... Camus.
It's a tough call. All right, we'll head back to Dawnstar. All right, Shadow Mare. I'm sure these twins don't have horses. But it'll get us there faster. All right, follow along. Uh-oh, my mask. Oh, well, I won't need it. Not for this mission. Just say, Khajiit doesn't trust us. How could you be so heartless, brother? Something isn't right. Something's not right, you say? Hmm. All right. It looks like the camp is right up here. I suppose we'll go in and talk first. See if we can't get the children. And then we'll save the killing for later. He is a red guard, though. I grew up in Hammerfell, even though I'm a Nord. <laughs> I. Is someone there? Oh, really? All right, well, there really wasn't much to do here. Thought we'd have a chance to talk. Does. So, what is up here, child? Hi. All right, you've nothing to say. What about you? That looks dangerous. <laughs> Bye. Well, I suppose you've had some training. Your wife is worried about your children. Really? And what do you mean that they're yours? These are my kids. About six years ago, she did that. I'm taking them back. That stump. Wait. Are you with the Dark Brotherhood? <laughs> How did you? I was told you would be a noble. I am a noble. I had my friends when I was Alakir help me track down my children. I have you dressed my like friend and didn't want to attract attention. If you truly are here in the Dark Brother, I can pay you money to fill my contract. And kill that crazy woman. What do we do? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Jezakar, what are you thinking? Yes. Nothing, apparently. What about you, Majira? Nothing. Wait, isn't that the woman? She followed us here. You've nothing to say either. Tell you these waves are really, really distracting. Is 
this man your dad? Yes. Is he your dad? What about you? That looks dangerous. <laughs> well, these these children do seem to be a bit darker skinned. And this woman fair skinned. And usually children take on the physical traits of the mother, although she is a bit a bit dark. But he's clearly darker. All right, who do I need to speak with? Jessica. Now what? Yes. <laughs> well, someone does die today. It's just a matter of who, and I suppose it's up to me. This is terrible. Until next time. Let's brighten things up a bit. All right, let me check her skin tone again. Okay. And let me check the child's tone. Darker than the mother. And let's check the father. Well, I don't know. They <laughs> With my vampire vision, they both look the same. Hmm. Camus, you've nothing to say? Isabel, nothing? This is a real tough decision. And no one's helping. Maybe there's something in the tent. Oh, look at that. An Aladdin's lamp. <laughs> Moon sugar. Skooma. Hmm. Oh, this is making it really tough. Why would he have this around children? You know, I'm not going to make a decision on a an empty stomach. Look out, Majira, look out. There, I think better when I'm satisfied. But as I always say, when am I ever satisfied? I don't mind openly revealing to these people that I'm a vampire. Because not all of us will be leaving here. <laughs> Alive. All right, Jessica, what are my choices again? So, no one dies, but I refuse to accept that option. They're both lying. Then the children would become orphans. Camus is lying. I don't know, he has a pretty convincing story. But the skooma, the moon sugar, he seems like he might be. I'm sorry, my fellow Redguard. You must die. You don't agree? All right. 
Isabel. It's done. You have my thanks. You have finally answered my prayers. I still love them, but I know I have this one. As well drink his blood too while I'm here. <laughs> Does he have anything of value? Take the amethyst, the gold. All right. All right, get your children and get out of here. So, the twins are already gone, probably back to the, uh, sanctuary. And it's time for me to go back and speak with Vala. Oh, it's good to be away from that noisy shore of those waves. Couldn't even hear the people speaking. It was a very difficult decision to make. But ultimately, it came down to the skooma and the moon sugar. Not the proper environment for children. Vala? Is everything all right? I was hoping to be gone before you got back. Really? Ha 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 ha. You could have been very easily. What held you back? I don't know. There's something comforting here. Really? The Would screens? Would you even let me leave if I wanted to? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear Vala, it's not up to me at all. I wasn't even here. You could have easily left the premises. I thought so. Is someone forced to live here a prisoner? <laughs> no, dear girl, you're not a prisoner, you're a guest. But if you don't stay, you will have to run forever. I'm leaving. Kill me if you have to. I don't care. <laughs> You've killed before, haven't you? The guards, they weren't your first murder. I can sense it now. What? How did you... You were excited, and in your eyes there was no panic. Only a kind of calm. There is no way that you could know that from a look. <laughs> Dear girl, I am not mortal. There's much that I know that you could not even comprehend. You were calm. You weren't panicking like one normally would after their first. How do you know that look I had? I've seen it before. Y you're right. Who did you kill before? It was a long time ago. I was born in the middle of the Great War. It was getting so desperate that my dad and my uncle left to fight. Only my uncle came back. At first it wasn't so bad. He took care of my mom and I, and he felt guilty about his brother's death. By the time he had come back, I had already forgotten my real dad. So all of this had seemed normal to me. Over time, we lost him to his nightmares. And when he couldn't take it anymore, he would hit me. No. I resented my mom for years for not stopping him. It wasn't until later that I realized that Dad's death left her an empty shell. 
and that she couldn't help me even if she wanted to. One day, I ran away from home, and I intended to leave forever. I wandered for a few weeks, obviously not getting very far from solitude. But I couldn't stand the thought of not saying bye to my mom. So, I went back. And she was dead. Mm. My fault. My uncle didn't have me to take his rage out on anymore. So, he killed her. Mm. That's terrible. At the moment, something just came over me. Like a whirlwind, I snapped his neck. It wasn't even too hard. He was in such a drunken stupor after what he had done to my mom. At first, I was horrified by what I had done, but over time, I became afraid that the darkness was gone. But more importantly, I was afraid of what it had turned me into. Of how much I enjoyed snapping his neck. <laughs> the bones breaking in my hands as the life just faded from his eyes. Yes, Vala. Amatius. Neck snapping can bring untold joy. Your family has a deep history of darkness, going further back than Beto. I suppose we do. Wait, how do you know about Beto? The Dark Brotherhood has been searching for you for a long time. I don't understand. Do you know of the Oblivion Crisis? I've heard of it, although I'm no expert in it by any means. Twenty years prior to it, Lucien Lachance walked the streets of solitude. Who was Lucien Lachance? A ruthless assassin. The best the Brotherhood has ever known. What was he doing in solitude? He was injured on a contract. He collapsed in front of a house near the stables. What? The woman who lived there healed him. They spent a single night together. What woman? Who was it? She bore the family name of Amatius. So, my great-great and so on grandfather was... One of the most legendary assassins that we have ever known. What does this have to do with me? You think that me being related to him will somehow help the Brotherhood out? Hmm. Yes, there was a great passion for our order in La Chance. That same passion is in you. I just don't buy it. You're some great organization. By the eight, you people kill the Emperor. <laughs> people speak of the Night Mother and of the Brotherhood in the streets now more than ever. Why me? What is a rich girl from Solitude going to do that the Brotherhood can't? Why do you need me if you all are so powerful and widespread? Unless... Unless what? People speak your name now more than ever. For a long time, as long as I can remember, the Brotherhood was only talked about in whispers. But now, people speak about you openly in the streets. There are so few of you in this sanctuary, so very few. And the Emperor's men, they said they had killed you all. That they had killed the last of the Brotherhood. You're a dying organization. You, Nazir, Babette, a few others. You're the only ones that are left, aren't you? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Vala. You are right. The Brotherhood is but a shadow of what it once was. If that's true, then you're rebuilding the Brotherhood. Raising it up to its former glory. So that's why you need me. That's why you don't want me to leave. You need me to strengthen the Brotherhood. 
<laughs> Stay or leave. But make your decision quickly. I have business to attend to. I want to learn. Really? I want to help. Hmm, that's too bad. Crazy. I was just getting ready to drink your blood. <laughs> All right then, I'm glad you've decided to stay. Let me speak with the Night Mother. All right, Cicero. Listener, we must work to uphold our traditions. In addition to reforming the Black Hand, we must teach our new initiates and our older children the importance of the Five Tenants. No longer will we abandon our tenants, and anyone who breaks a tenant must face the wrath of Sithis. All right. Wait. A ghost. Mother? Is that your voice I hear? No, no. Just my head playing tricks. Oh, Hello? Cicero. Oh, I was just thinking about you. Funny how that works. I wasn't See thinking around. about you. There's a ghost here. Am I the only one that sees it? Hello? Are you the previous listener? Yes. I am Alessandra Frey. Our unholy matron has informed me that you are in need of guidance in the ways of old. I need to teach our new initiates the five tenants. Allow me to demonstrate. So everyone can see the ghost. All right, well, Cicero, I suppose you'll stay up here. You should be down here for this. <laughs> well done, Dupre. Well done. <laughs> ah. This one thinks you should be more careful with your spells. So, you've joined us very well. Very well indeed. All right, what is next? A haunting echo. I need to get a set of contracts from the Night Mother. And where is Dupre gone? I suppose we're done with the former listener. Night Mother. Listener. Yes. So this is the child of Lachance? 
It is. Interesting. I can feel the passion of the chance, even from here. So many children pray to their mother. But now we may begin to answer those prayers. There is a corrupt priest in Markarth. Find him. Take his gold. And so begins a new contract. All right. Amatius, I think we have our first assignment. Let me see this note. Give the note to Nazir. Visit the forlorn watchman by the Solitude Coast. Accept his gold. Eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Visit the wayward alchemist in Windhelm. Accept his gold. Eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. All right, Nazir, let's see if I can't give you this note. Maybe I'll make the potage les magnifiques, hmm? Hmm, but yes. But not the way you make it. <laughs> no, certainly not. Yes, certainly. Yes, listen. All right. I need you to take the twins on their second mission. Of course, Mister. Here's a note containing a list of contracts. You and Babette split them up. As you command, Mister. <laughs> what do you think, Babette? Yes, Mister. All right. It's up to us now, Amatius. We are headed. To Markarth. 